Welcome back to The Source. John Law's story certainly is a big wake-up call, a reminder to all of us that we have to remain diligent in our fight against COVID-19. And that fight can become a little bit more complicated as we start hearing about even more variants of COVID-19. Let's welcome now the Director of Infectious Diseases at Niagara Health, Dr. Kareem Ali. Dr. Ali, we heard about the UK variant and now there's another one that seems to be coming out of Brazil. How does this complicate matters in the fight against this virus? I want to set the context of this, um, you know, before we delve into the variants. And, and, and the, the thing is, all respiratory viruses, right? Like, so all viruses that you and I talk about, so be it common cold virus, be it influenza virus, they mutate or they have some genetic changes over time very different virus, right? Like corona and influenza viruses are very different viruses. So these, but the, the fact that we have these variants, it's not something that medical professionals weren't expecting. It's not unexpected, but, but the, the issue is like being in the middle of a pandemic, right? As the, the virus replicates, there was just too much virus around, right? Like during, during the summer and fall, when these uh, started originating, there were just there was just a lot of transmission going on all over. When we say UK variant, when we say the second variant that was identified concomitantly was the, in, in uh, Nelson, Nelson Mandela Bay, South Africa, and then Manaus, Brazil, right? When we say that, like we don't necessarily mean that they originated there. What we mean is they were identified there because they have a bit uh, better way to uh, do genomic surveillance to look at the viruses. All viruses like these do mutate over time. Most of these, 90% or more of these mutations have no consequence. Dr. Ali, will the current vaccines that are being deployed now, will they be able to pick up these variants? You know, when we look at these, right, like so Moderna vaccine, uh, Pfizer vaccine have come out with the data uh, at least uh, about uh, this uh, uh, UK variant. Uh, that's not going to be an issue. Again, with the B1.135, uh, uh, which is the South African uh, variant where it was identified first, you know, it's it's so interesting. Just five, ten minutes ago, they just announced that there is a first case of this in Peel region uh, without any history of travel, this, this variant from South Africa. Johnson & Johnson vaccine, right? Like, that's not approved yet here. Uh, and other vaccines, they have some uh, decreased activity against it. But again, this doesn't mean that they won't work. The Pfizer and Moderna vaccine are likely going to be okay against this virus. The variant from Brazil, it's, it's the one that is being studied the most because it was just identified on January the 12th. That one has more ability to reinfect people. So it's been identified in an area where almost 75 to 80% of population was first infected back in March and April, and now they are reinfected. Dr. Ali, we now have these three variants. Is it safe to say that we can expect even more over the coming months? Absolutely. Now, how we control them, right? Like with these public health measures that are in place and, you know, the bundled approach that we have talked about before, that is uh, masking, hand hygiene, physical distancing, this is still going to be the same. It is still going to help you control this. You know, there is a lot of talk and anxiety around it. Let the science, right? Like let the vaccines do their work. Get as many vaccines into high-risk arms as quickly as we can. We were getting kind of complacent. And when we had those freedoms in the summer and in early fall, I think a lot of people were forgetting about those protocols. As a physician, it's hard for me to blame people, right? Um, economy has to survive, right? Like people have to work and, 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 and uh, put food on their table. I still think my, the systemic issues and that uh, we should have addressed back in, in, uh, in uh, uh, summer and fall when we had the time, that is, you know, getting essential workers paid sick leave so they don't show up to work sick. Those systemic issues, you know, tighter uh, testing, uh, you know, in, in schools and all, Unfortunately, those weren't put in place. 